Hey everybody, in this video, we're going on a walk here in the evening. It's, it looks daylight, but it's actually getting kind of dark, but the, my, my iPhone makes it a little bit more brighter. But anyway, we're gonna talk today about, are you being protective on what you're doing throughout the day when we talk about law of attraction, law of manifesting, law of assumption, higher consciousness, Okay, and what I mean by that is if you really believe in law of attraction, if you really believe that you're, what you focus on, what you're thinking about all day expands, either positive or negative, you're going to be protective, protective on what you're doing throughout the day, okay? What your habits are. You're going to start being protective on, on who you allow yourself to hang out with. Make sense? or little habits that you have, if it's triggering you in a, in a negative way, well, the longer you stay in that negative state, you're gonna start producing those results. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And uh, this is another walking video, you know, really with the YouTube algorithm, you know, I'm kind of switching up, you know, how I'm filming and stuff like that. That's what, you know, YouTube kind of wants us to do nowadays. They're cracking down on my channel a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, I mean, before I go to Thailand, you know, I'm still in Ohio. I mean, Thailand's gonna, you know, expand my channel even more because I'll, you know, just the, the scenery there is just flipping unbelievable. Uh, you know, I, you know, I can, sometimes I show pictures and stuff like that in my YouTube videos or, and stuff like that. It just literally looks like I'm in a backdrop, <laughs> you know, the sunset and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going back in November, so I'm gonna be sharing a lot of stuff and I'll be there for six, at least six months. So I'll be there for a while. So I'll share that with everybody. Um, but anyway, what kind of made me kind of think about this video is sometimes it's what I'm kind of going through too. Sometimes we go to, we kind of, in our own personal life, we go through, uh, you know, ups, you know, ups and downs. We go through bad habits ourselves. Because, you know, this is what I've learned over time. I mean, it's so easy to go back into our old habits, our old patterns. It's so easy to do that. And if we're not careful, we don't stay in some type of routines and, and some type of personal development daily that keeps us focused. It's so easy to get caught up into bad environments. And uh, that's going to bring our uh br br bring us down or we start not believing in our own selves you know what i mean and i don't mean like bad environments like drugs and alcohol i mean it you know it could be a work environment that's very negative for you that's you know that's bringing you down um so so that's kind of what what made me kind of think about this and i was in <laughs> Now, I just wanted to share it. Why I took this, like lots of times I'll take a meditative, like a meditation walk, kind of think positive, think about what's going on, stuff like that. So that's one of the things I want to talk about. And uh, what I mean by being protective is we have to be careful on, you know, stopping ourselves from kind of thinking about, you know, what is, you know, what is our current situation? And we kind of live in that what is what is currently happening to us. And with law of attraction, if we constantly think about what is, what our current situation is, and that's what we think about all day long, well, it, it's gonna keep us in the state of what is, okay? It's gonna keep us in the state of our current situation. Maybe you don't like your current situation, okay? But it's gonna keep you there because that's what you're focused on. So what we have to try to master is not focusing on what is, but focusing on what we want. Makes sense. Uh, so, you know, what I give you an example, like what I want is, is live abroad, live in Thailand, probably have the country hop, work remote. That's why I should be focusing my attention on, focusing my thoughts on. Okay. Not what is my current situation. Okay, if I focus on my current situation, it's going to be more of it, positive or negative. Okay, just like if you constantly focus on focusing on what you don't like, well, what you don't like is going to come more to you, but that's what you're focused on. 
okay? Now, what do I mean by being protective, okay? Besides being protective of, you know, my surroundings here, <laughs> being protective on what I watch on TV, what I watch on Instagram, TikTok, social media, because now social media, watching reels, it's very addictive. Watching certain YouTube channels are very addictive. I mean, is it bringing you in a different state where you don't want to be? Okay. Now I'll give you some examples like in my own personal life. Okay. You know, I might be in a bad habit. You know, I wake up in the morning, even though I know I shouldn't do this, but I wake up in the morning, I'm right away checking my email, right away checking social media. When there's so much research out there saying you shouldn't do it for at least a couple hours because it changes your state. It puts you, it puts you automatically in a state of anxiety, a state of worry, especially if you're, you know, you get a negative email right away and that's what you saw right when you woke up. You know what I mean? Or if you're an entrepreneur, you check it right away and someone's asking you for stuff and that's what your mind directly goes to rather than, you know, a positive morning routine. Okay. Maybe I'm watching, you know, Instagram reels or TikTok reels or YouTube shorts that basically tick me off. You know what I mean? But I, I find myself sitting there watching them. But as I'm watching them, I'm getting like my stomach's getting knots in it and getting all pissed off. And there's certain like, <laughs> there's certain, you know, reels and shorts that do that, you know? Like when I think about it, you know, I hate, I hate like influencers that make shorts and the whole shorts or the is basically trying to piss people off on camera. You know what I mean? But I find myself being addictive watching them, but at the same time I'm getting pissed off. You know, and I'll stay in that state for a couple hours. You know, I'm gonna attract at that level. You know, that's what we have to understand. Okay. You know, on my phone, I might have certain apps, I might have my Stripe account that I'm addictive looking at it, looking at sales, looking at stuff like that that kind of keeps me in that state, okay? So what we gotta do, I mean, by being protective, we know this stuff, okay? We're aware of how it's affecting us, but we got to, at that point, we kind of have to stop doing it, you know what I mean? When I wake up, I gotta resist picking up my phone and checking my email. I gotta stay away from it, okay? Until, until I wanna check it where I'm, I'm focused on work, okay? I gotta resist picking up my phone and looking at my Stripe account. I gotta resist picking up, looking on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and just scroll. You know, I gotta resist that because it changes my state, okay? And I shared this before in another video, but I'll share it now because it relates. Now, uh, for a while, I, I was addicted to it, then I stopped it, then I started doing it again. And I got to stop it <laughs> is, I, you know, I subscribe to uh, a few Thailand channels and one of the Thailand channels I, I subscribe to tells a lot of stories about Thailand, stories about girls. And, you know, it's, it's more on the negative side. They're true stories about scams in Thailand and stuff like that. And it can be very addictive watching it because, you know, you get interested on people's personal stories. Okay, but it puts me, again, it puts me in a negative state. Okay, I, I start thinking negative. I start thinking like, well, is that going on in my relationship? Make sense? You know, again, going back to law of attraction, manifesting, what we think about expands. Okay, so we have to be really careful in what we're thinking about. Okay, and on top of this, that's what I mean by being protective, okay? If, you know, we have to be, be careful on our emotional states, okay? What are we doing throughout our day that's triggering us, okay? Especially on the negative side, okay? And we all do this. You know, I do this. That's why I'm giving you examples. You know, I do this all through the day, and it's almost like an addiction, okay? We're trying to focus on what we want, okay? But that's really just a really minute where our thoughts are during the day. Okay, the reason why we keep on attracting what we don't want is because we're focused on what we don't want throughout the whole day. We're focused on what we don't have throughout the whole day. Okay, we're focused on our current situation throughout the whole day. We're focused on 
what is throughout the whole day. And that's exactly what is uh, given to us. Okay. You know, on a, you know, on a, you know, there's no stats on this, but you know, if we're focusing on what we don't want 95% of the time, well, it, it just makes logical sense. That's what you're going to get. You know, if you focus on 5% of the time, you, you focus on what you want 5% of the time. Well, you know, <laughs> that 95%, what you focus on is going to win. I mean, that's what we have to look at. You know, that's what we're trying to master. We're trying to master our mind, master our thoughts. So, you know, we can't master our mind, master our thoughts. When we're watching TV all day long and we're watching soap operas, negativity. It doesn't even have to be soap operas nowadays. We're constantly, you know, comedies. We're watching horror movies, dramas, action movies. That's all focused on the negative. And we wonder why we're producing the results in our own lives. So we have to be very protective, okay? You know, we we allow ourselves to be around certain people that bring us down, okay? But are we around those people constantly, okay? I mean, can we choose to be around them or choose not to, okay? We allow ourselves to be in certain environments that bring us down or the environment will sooner or later rub off on us. Okay, we're not, you know, the, the thing is we have to understand we're not going to change the environment we're in. The environment is going to change us. Okay, that's what we have to understand. I mean, even if we're talking about Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins, okay? No matter if you took him and you put him in a bad environment for a period of time, it's going to rub off on him. Okay, it's going to rub off on him on a negative way. He's not going to go into it. In the beginning, yes, he's going to go into it being Anthony Robbins. But... But I'm pretty sure he knows enough that if he's in that negative environment long enough for a period of time consistently, well, that negative environment is going to rub off on him. You know, it's, it's, that's just the reality of it. Okay, we're not going to change the environment. I'm not trying to be negative, okay? The environment is going to change us, okay? That's why you have all these spiritual teachers, all these teachers in manifesting, you have to be careful on the environment you're in. Okay. That doesn't mean we can't never go in those environments, but we have to be careful. It doesn't rub off on us. We have to be careful. We're not consistently doing it, but sooner or later it starts to rub off on us. Okay. Sooner or later we start thinking, okay, negative. Sooner or later we start thinking that we can't do it. Makes sense. You know, just for example, like when I was working in factories, now, I never worked in factories in my whole life, but it's the environment that rubs off on you, okay? You know, when you're in that environment long enough, several months, maybe a year, okay? That's a short period of time speaking about your whole life, but it starts to rub off on you. You start to think like the unsuccessful, okay? You start to think that you can't do it. You start to think that you can't achieve what you want, okay? And once you start to think that way, it starts to happen, but that's just the you know, laws of the universe. So when you catch it, <laughs> see, that's the thing. When you catch it and you catch yourself doing it and you're aware of it, then you can change it. I can change it. Okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of the first step is aware awareness. Sometimes when people start getting aware, you know, it starts to stress them out, you know, it starts to, you know, sometimes the mind goes crazy, but we just have to start better habits. And the way we have to do, we kind of have to protect ourselves. We have to be, be, it's almost like being protective of your time. Okay. You know, you got to be protected of your time, protected of who's taking your time, protected of who you're hanging out with on a consistently cons cons consistent basis, protected of, 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 you know, We've always heard of the saying that that you're gonna become, you're gonna be like the 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 most the, the well, how is it said like like uh, you're gonna become who you spend the most time with or the the top five people that's in your life that's who you're gonna be like something like that <laughs> having a brain fart <laughs> but anyway we've all heard that saying okay most of us try to think like oh you know. I don't hang around this person or that person. 
But in reality of it, we have to look at it for what it is. If you become like the most people you hang out with, the top five people you hang out with, that's who you are, okay? A lot of times we think about, you know, our friends, but who we end up omitting that who we really should be talking about is most of the time, in reality, most of the time, the people you hang out with the most are family, okay? Is your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, wife, okay? That's probably who you spend the most time with. That's the reality of the picture, okay? So, you know, if it's, just, it's basically simple, simple psychology. If you're up here and your significant other's down here, well, your significant other is going to pull you down to their level. Okay. Might not be what you want to hear, but that's who you're going to become mentality wise. Okay. So at that point, you really have to be careful of, well, who, who am I going out with? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who's my significant other? Who's my boyfriend or girlfriend? You know what I mean? Because that person's going to pull you down to their level. Okay. A lot of times... Lots of times, you're not going to pull them up. You're going to come down, okay? On the level of mentality, let's say you're, not, you're an eight. You're not an eight on looks, okay? I'm talking mentality, okay? I'm not talking income, mentality. If you're an eight and your significant other is a five, well, she's, they're going to pull you down to a five or a six. You're not going to pull them up most of the time, okay? So if you become who you spend the most time with, you become like your top top five friends, well, the number one person in there is probably your, your, your significant other, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, boyfriend. That's probably number one. The second thing is probably your family, brothers, sisters, whoever you spend the most time with in your family. Then it becomes best friends, so forth and so forth. People look at this, you know, people look at this, you know, they don't look at it in reality. Okay. They say, you know, well, I don't, I don't hang out with my drunken friends anymore, but their wife is sitting right beside them. <laughs> That's, that's who, that's who you spend the most time with is, is are they a, a positive influence or a negative influence? You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of a talk that most people don't want to have. That person's going to, that's per, that person, your significant other is going to make it or break it for you. Bottom line, you pick the wrong partner. They're going to make it or break it for you. Bottom line. Okay. So, I mean, this talk is getting, it's about 18 minutes right now. So it's getting dark. I got to start turning around, heading back. But, um, but anyway, you have to be protective of your time, protective of what you're doing, protective of your emotional state. Okay. But that's going to trigger what you're thinking about throughout the day. Okay. We want to think about what we can do, what we want, what we can achieve. Okay. And we want to think about that majority of the time. And a little bit negative, okay? We don't want to think majority negative and a tiny bit what we want because we're going to get, we're basically going to get majority rules. We're going to get negativity in our life. Or we're going to get more of what we don't want. So I'm going to end it with this. Start being picky. Start being protective. We have to do this, okay? In order to have a life of success, a life of love, blessings in order to move forward to get what we want we have to be a little bit selfish okay because we're being paying attention we're being aware of our emotional states or emotional triggers okay so other than that my friends blessings to you it's getting a little dark i know the the camera is getting a little bit fuzzy because it's getting dark and it's trying to stay trying to keep the camera on light but, uh, but anyway, blessings to you. Leave your comment below if you made it this far in the video. And I'll see you in the next video.